Hey, greetings, how's it going? Welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim. We're here at the repair shop of Donor Auto in Anchorage, Alaska. And i uh, got a quick tip here. Thought I'd, uh, even though I've got things half torn apart, thought I would uh, just share a little information I learned along the way with this uh, Mercedes product. This is a 03 C240. It's the 4Matic edition. And a uh, customer came in complaining of a, uh, a message indicating that the right front turn signal bulb was out. And uh, after checking, of course, the right front turn signal wasn't functioning. Then you go to pull out the bulb, in the, which is mounted in the headlight assembly. And I was having a hard time removing it. Finally, it popped out. And I could see where it had been uh, not making contact inside the assembly. And uh, basically, it's 1156 bulb in a little little bulb socket that pops into the back side of the headlight assembly. It goes, it's up here with an amber bulb. Fits into this cavity here. And uh, where the problem is, is, see if I can show you up in there. Uh, up here there's a contact the little tab connects with it and you can see where it's corroded and then uh, we had a subsequent uh, bag connection there and, and then it kind of melted that little tab and lost connection okay there is a service bulletin on this uh, it is Papa Bravo 82.10 slash 195F uh, for updated parts for repairs on this. Okay, real quick, if all you have is a problem with the bulb socket and connection right there, and uh, the rest of the lens housing is okay, go check out that TSB and contact the dealer for the new retrofitted uh, bulb socket that actually comes with wiring that bypasses the connection internal here and, uh, and jumpers into the harness as it connects on the, uh, the back side. So it alleviates this problem. However, in this case, we went ahead for the whole assembly because we had problems with the seal around the, the headlight lens itself and the customer op opted for a replacement of the entire assembly. And then of course, uh, through the dealership, this thing is like almost 500 bucks. So I did a little research and uh, found one at World Pack. I don't know if you've heard of World Pack. Pretty cool outfit where you can get uh, parts, a lot of OE uh, parts uh, and other aftermarket parts. And you can get them basically overnighted to you, uh, to your location, uh, usually no freight. Uh, so it's worth checking out World Pack. A lot of times you got to deal with uh, your actual local supplier but uh, the part came and I was surprised um, came in this big yellow box Magneti Morelli box and uh, this is the new assembly you know sometimes you get these aftermarket assemblies they look totally different the the lens portion of it is just obviously different it's you know more clear or whatever and uh, this thing's like identical it has the exact same markings the original uh, Mercedes part that I removed was made in the Czech Republic uh, this is also made there has all the same numbers uh, all everything identical I would say this is an OE part it is, it is just the, uh, the actual supplier of the OE part boxing it and selling it uh, to an aftermarket supplier. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you gotta almost pull this entire front bumper cover to, uh, to change this out. I was able to sneak in this uh, far side by the fender here. Right down in here, if you come in from the inner fender, uh, you can remove this fastener down in there um, to get it out. So this thing came with all the bulbs. This is a, 
This is the halogen bulb unit. See if I can figure out how to get it back together. But they do make a couple uh, options for that Xeon bulb or non-Xeon. So, So anyway, I'll uh, button this thing up, but uh, I thought it was worthwhile uh, mentioning if you got a Mercedes that that may be a resource worth checking out if you're looking at a similar issue or you need to replace the actual lens. And it's going to match up perfectly, so uh, customer will be happy. We're able to save them uh, almost a couple hundred bucks on the part. So it's a win-win. You pull up the front SAM module on your scan tool if you have the ability to do so. Uh, if you don't, you might try disconnecting the battery and clearing the codes. I, I don't know if that'll work or not, but it's worth a try. But I can see this SAM module has codes for that right front turn signal. Um, we're going to go ahead and clear that. You might just go through and clear the codes, like I said, if possible. Sometimes you have to do that in order to get any turn signal function back. All right, part of this TSB uh, is actually a retrofit kind of updated turn signal bulb socket and wiring that changes the way the headlight works. So that's definitely an option in this case. Uh, but since we had damage to the actual uh, headlight assembly and, and some other uh, bulb problems with it uh, we just went ahead and replaced the whole assembly um, but if you do go the route that the you know basically the service bulletin outlines they recommend replacing both sides basically a new bulb and socket and a little wiring harness and a little tie wrap uh, and there's instructions to do it just follow that TSB and I'll make a note of the TSB uh, the actual TSB uh, number down in the description of this video. Should be good to go. All right, have a good one. We'll catch you.